Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and use OneDrive synchronization between your Windows devices. So this has been around for a little bit, so it allows you to kind of keep all the files and stuff uh, in sync on all your computers. So let's say you have a laptop and a desktop and a work computer, and you sign in with the same user account, and you want to have all your desktop mm -hmm. files and My Documents files you know, matching, you could use this to uh, keep it that way. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you're using a Windows account for a login. So if you're using a local account, it's not going to not going to work. And then you need to make sure it's turned on. So we're going to be doing this on this Windows 11 computer, this other Windows 11 computer, and then we have a Windows 10 computer. So all logged in with the same user. And so what we need to do is on the Windows 11, you go to settings, and you go to accounts, and you go to Windows backup. And then make sure these are turned on. So if you want to have it remember your apps, so let's say you get a uh, new computer and you want to have it know what apps you had installed, you could have this turned on, kind of like when you get a new phone, and it remembers what's, what apps you installed on your phone or what you had on your old phone, I should say. And then you have this other option here where it will remember passwords, language preferences, and miscellaneous Windows settings to kind of keep things in sync, you know, like the desktop image and that kind of thing between your uh, computer or computers. And you can see here OneDrive is syncing, and the app list is backed up, and preferences are backed up. So we're good to go on this computer. And you can see down here we have the OneDrive uh, little cloud icon showing that it's running. I'm using the personal free account, which I believe is 5 gigs of storage, and it's limited on what you get to back up, and I'll kind of show you that in a minute too. Okay, and then on we have the same thing going on here, and then for Windows 10, it's kind of similar. You go to your settings. You go to accounts, and then you want to go to sync your settings, so it's different. And it's the same kind of setup, it's just kind of laid out differently. And then what you might run across on Windows 10 or 11, this, your passwords won't sync until you verify the identity on this device. And then all you got to do is click on verify, put in your the Windows Microsoft account that you use for this, uh, you know, email address and password, then it will send you an email with a code, then you put that in, and then you'll be verified on that computer. So that's just in case you run into this problem. Okay, so let's try this out. All right, so you'll notice here we have some icons here or some desktop shortcuts and so on and image file and PowerPoint file. And you can see this little blue cloud icon here. That means the file is being synchronized from another device through your OneDrive onto this computer. So this is not where it originally was. So if we make a new, let's say make a new text file here, you can see that little synchronization sign, and eventually it'll turn into a green check mark. So that means this file, it's being synchronized, but it, it's originally on this computer. So now if we go to, let's say, this computer, so here's that same file, but you'll see it has a cloud icon, meaning it came from a different computer. If that makes sense. So what we could do, we could open this file here and add some text. And we could save it. And now you can see it's got the green check mark here, meaning it was last edited on this computer. So now if we go back to that Windows 10, you'll see it's got the green check mark here too, meaning it was edited on both computers. And I'll show you why that is. So if you go to your little cloud thing here, and so here's your recent files here, and you can see version history, you'll see it was modified 32 seconds ago. That's when we modified it on the other computer. So now if we go here, we'll open it up and add some new text, newer text, save it. Okay, and if we go back to our version history here, You can see here's the original one, here's the, the change we made. And now if we go back to the other computer here, or actually any other computer, so we have it both here. And so let's say we wanted to look at our version history. You can do it from any computer. And let's say we wanted to go back to the oldest one with the first line of text. We could click on the three dots and restore. So now it's syncing. Now we have a new version because we just made a change here. 
So if we go back here, we have the original text. So we reverted it back to the first save rather than the second save that was on before. All right, and so now let's say, let's look at our documents and stuff. So here's this computer. So we'll go here. Uh, this PC. Documents, you can see a little cloud icon next to desktop pictures and documents. That's because those are the only folders that are being backed up. Because when you use the free account, that's the default folders. And if you go to your settings here, you'll see that. And if you go to choose folders, you see desktop documents and pictures and also this personal vault. And while you're here, let's say you don't want this camera roll folder to be backed up. You can uncheck it and then that won't get synced between your devices anymore. So you can kind of edit these, but you can't add, like let's say you wanted to add your music folder. You can't do that without having to do some funky stuff like, you know, go to its properties and change its location from the default, you know, under the username to your OneDrive folder, but we're not going to get into that. But you'll know that, you know, if you get the advanced ver or the pay for version, you'll have some additional options. And then you'll also hear, see here too under settings. Using 15 meg megabytes of the 5 gigabytes cloud storage. So you get the 5 gigabytes. Okay, so now let's do another test here. Let's uh, make a new file here just for. Uh, da, da, da. Let's make a new folder. Let's leave it new folder. Okay, so now we got the check mark here. Let's go to the other Windows 11 computer here. There's our new folder with the sync. And now let's open that. Let's make a new file in there. Let's just make a new image. Okay, so you can see the status, it's synchronizing, and it's synchronized. And now this has the green check mark, meaning it's the latest and greatest. Now let's go to Windows 10. Here's our new folder. And here's our new bitmap image with the cloud icon, meaning it was uh, synchronized from another computer. So what happens if we delete this folder that was synchronized on another computer? Let's click on it, press delete. Deleting an online folder permanent removes our computer or your PC without sending it to the recycle bin. So it means it's not going to go to your recycle bin. Let's say yes. So that's gone. So now it's giving you a message. Deleted files are removed everywhere, telling you it should be deleted from other computers as well once they synchronize. So we say got it. So let's go to another computer here. So that fold new folder is gone. And that new folder is gone here. So now what if we delete a file that was, let's create a file here. Uh, let's just do another folder. Okay, so this was created here. Let's make sure it's synced. New folder two, new folder two. So what if we delete this file that was created on this computer. It's not a synced copy. It was created here. Deleted. Deleted. And deleted. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how it works. Um, like I said, just watch for the icons. Or the, like it's kind of like a shortcut pointer icon here, but it's a cloud or a green check mark indicating where the file was last modified or created. And then everything, you know, looks, kind of looks the same on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And then anytime you can go to your cloud things here and look at your recent uh, synced folders and files. And then you can go to your settings. Make adjustments to your folders if needed. And let's see, any other th interesting th stuff here? You know, just basic settings about starting OneDrive when you sign to Windows, which you're going to want to do because otherwise it's not going to sync. Notifications, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so pretty much that's all you got to do is make sure in your settings, you're under your user accounts, you are have these enabled and OneDrive is syncing, and then everything should be working as planned. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.